It's on. All right. Are we on? Okay. <laughs>、uh, First, people that came to my mind, I was like, we have to get y'all on. So, why don't you just go ahead and introduce yourselves? Oh, Shannon, I bet you say that to all, to all your guests. <laughs> no. <laughs> thank you for having us. Honestly, thank you for having us. And thank you for saying we're your first choice. I like that.、So, good morning and thank you.、Um, my name is Andy, and I、uh, run multiple organizations.、Uh, The one that's most currently recently is called Florida Professionals Association, and it is a、uh, it's a statewide、uh, group of professionals, and we offer、uh, multiple opportunities,、uh, online networking opportunities,、uh, virtual networking. We offer a program that we have a、uh, relationship with AvMed, and we offer a group health. Uh, to our members, we have a mobile app that our members can connect、uh, seven days a week, twenty-four hours a day.、Uh, we do an annual conference, which is upcoming、um, in a couple of weeks, and、uh, it's going to be in Orlando, <laughs> Orlando, Florida. It's called Professionals in Paradise. So yeah, there's a whole lot that we do. We we also have a, an agency called Insaw Florida. And there we work with a handful of clients. We do their website development,、uh, SEO, and、uh, is there anything there I'm missing? We have Review Me Too,、oh, which is our, our review platform. Absolutely.、And、that's a lot that he said. I'm Vanessa. I'm with this guy, he said a lot. So you do a lot too. <laughs> oh yes, no, but he. Pretty much said everything that we, you know, the Florida、she's, professionals is all about. She's very modest. She is the glue behind the scenes. That I own keeps, it. That I, keeps you know, everything together. Modesty gone. I, I own it. I own it. I recognize that I am the glue. Just call me Elmer's. <laughs> I love it. We'll start doing that at the conference. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody that you know, we reached out to to talk to you.、Um, As far as I know, you two are probably the ones that have been working together the longest.、Um, some of the other people we've been talking to、um, have all have been. It, it's more of a recent thing, maybe within the last couple of years.、Um, so I'd really like to know, like, the first, origin story. Yes, the origin story. Like, how did you guys? Like, what were you doing before this? And what? How did y'all decide? Like, we need to do. We need to work together. Like, what?、Uh, how did that happen? That's a good one. That's a good question. It's going to be about fifteen years now that we've been together, and I came from a totally different world. I was working as a real estate title agent.、Uh, pretty much, I was in that world since I was in high school, so right after high school. So that was my world, and he was in e-commerce when we met. He was in affiliate marketing and all that, and.、Um, He kind of like dragged me into his world, you know. Godzilla style? No, no, not Godzilla. King Kong style. I got the wrong. I got the wrong、uh, creature there.、Um, anyway, so I, you know, he brought me into his world. I left the title world behind, and I joined him in that whole e-commerce thing. But a couple of years into that, he kind of. Wasn't feeling it the same way. He thought that the industry had changed a lot, and we decided to develop something locally, which is how In South Florida came about. It was all about helping local businesses to afford digital marketing, right? Because digital marketing, when I mean, thirteen, fourteen years ago, was extremely expensive. So it's become much more common now. But back then, it was very expensive. So we came up with In South Florida, which was a way to make it, you know, affordable for the small business owner. That was our that was our goal, always to help the local small business owner. And you can fill、yeah. in the gaps. So back in the day, I I invented the internet. No, <laughs>、uh, you know、You're、I vice、nice、president. Nice <laughs> nice well, he'll, he'll convince you of that too if you give him enough time. I've been involved. I've been involved in、uh, multiple aspects of of the web with、uh, online marketing. Started in the world of print、uh, with my friends here at the, the Millers at Community Newspapers back in the day. I got recruited by Exito Magazine, a product of the、uh, Fort Lauderdale、uh, Sun Sentinel. I started to sell their their weekly tabloid, 
And then with, within a year, they, they recruited a freelance to learn uh, to, to take the product online. And, you know, they were teaching us this thing called HTML back in the day. You know, I, I braved my hands and, hey, I'm in, you know. So for, what year was this roughly? Huh? What year was this roughly? That was probably the 97 and 98, probably. So we, we launched the product online, uh, Exito Magazine. I, I, I learned how to code or I learned what that was. And that was a great experience. Unfortunately, under pressure from the Miami Herald, uh, their Viernes publication, they, you know, Exito was forced to, to, to close down. So we got recruited by the Miami Herald. Uh, I started to sell, um, started to sell print ads that didn't last. So I got recruited into the online department, and boom, and and that was it, right? So, uh, unfortunately, I saw the writing on the wall. People like the Miami Herald and those companies had so much invested in print, they really didn't take the web as serious as it was, and the internet was a freight train that was coming down the tracks and those people that saw it, they continued in the online world. People that did not see it, well, the history is there. Uh, and from there, I left the Herald. I went in to work for a company called Open Ad Stream. Open Ad Stream was an ad serving technology, an ad serving you platform. You have a very long resume. An ad serving <laughs> platform. I feel that like that I was a title agent and now I'm here. That the, the, the use of a cookie, I could track you and I could track all your experiences online. So, over here. so, <laughs> so, well, you said expand on that, right? No, I said be, you know. Be, okay. okay. Anyway, Open Ad Stream was great because of a cookie. We could track anything online and we would give you contextual advertising that, you know, it was focused to what you were searching for at the time. Mm -hmm. That company gave us an IPO. I thought I was going to be a multimillionaire. Obviously, I'm still yeah. here. I'm here. So that didn't work out. I did bring on board a client at the time called Tiger Direct. And Tiger Direct was a mammoth here in the industry selling yeah. computers and parts. I became, I, their, I became their affiliate manager. Didn't have a hell of a clue what that was. As their affiliate manager, uh, my responsibility was to recruit commission-only salespeople around the world. Well, history will show you that I became the number one affiliate manager within the industry. Wow. And we took Tiger Direct to heights that were not seen in the industry. After that, I resigned from the company and I started on my own journey with Andy Rodriguez Consulting in the affiliate affiliate world, and we partner with Google, with the Ticketmaster, with a whole bunch of large entities. And then we met. And then we met. She attended the first conference, and she's like, oh, my God, what the hell is this, right? And then, and then we, were, we are no longer affiliate marketers. We're no longer affiliate marketers, but that was a hell of a ride. So, so yes, I did not invent the Internet, but I know enough about it to get myself in trouble. Yeah, my name is Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> <The title agent. laughs> oh, what what was the conversation like? Like, Vanessa, were you immediately on board, or did you have a lot of questions or reservations with the, with the affiliate marketing? I wasn't immediately on board. Uh, you know, I had always had that safety net of having my job. I had been a single mom for five years, mm -hmm. and I had my two kids, and it was very scary for me to oh, wait a minute, we're just going to not have an employer sign my check? What does that mean? I don't understand. But I had had a title company a few years before, my own title company, and I knew what it was like to be self-employed, but it was different because it was it was mine, right? I had started it, I had done it, it was mine. So it was, um, it was scary. It was scary. I, I won't say that I wasn't on board immediately, but... I was definitely scared, but I did it anyway because, hey, YOLO. So, um, yeah, and I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't love that industry. It was, it didn't sing to me, shall we say. I, I didn't love it, but I learned a lot. It's a, it, it, it used to be a fantastic industry. The, 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 there was a mix of people, relationships, uh, the use of technology, the use of tools. 
uh, you, you learn how the web really works from the inside out. I think I also came in, though, at a time where Amazon was kind of taking over. So, you know, the little guy was kind of getting pushed out when I, when I was introduced to that world. So it wasn't that small family community kind of that he had uh, been in for so many years. For me, it was like I came in and the mammoths were there. So it was a little bit different, I guess, when I when I was introduced to it. So that's how I convinced her. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, look, we work from home. We we travel to, to conferences, Vegas, New York, multiple times a year. Let's I, go. It's a lot of I fun. I think what appealed to me was more the flexibility with the kids. Mm -hmm. I, I loved mm -hmm. not having to miss that school show or the field trip or the, you know, they were still young enough where I was involved. And I really, that really appealed to me. It was important to me because I was always a mom first. So it was, it was great. If, if I could share something else about the industry, it was a lot of fun. You get to meet a lot of businesses and individuals and the people behind the business. And I'm just going to use one particular example that comes to mind. We, we would work with business owners uh, uh, around the world, large and small. One of the business owners, uh, I'm not going to mention the exact name of the company, but it was a very famous producer of nuts, almonds, uh, cashews, you know, and, and, and they sold this online around the world. And in one of the conferences that, that we did, I think it was in Vegas, we were responsible for being at the booth and to promoting their, their product. Yeah, we're really going to want to edit this part. <laughs> no, we're not. This is a whole lot of fun. A lot of fun. So the company packaged small little packages of nuts as a sample. And our job was to market, right? I mean, to be creative. So if you can imagine a room with about 4,000, 5,000 people there, they're visiting each of, the, each of the booths, each of the tables. I am screaming with the rest of our team. Not me. I wasn't screaming. I was screaming with the rest of our team, handing out these little packets of nuts that, that were completely transparent. Who wants my nuts? Grab my nuts. Everybody take some nuts. And I will be tossing these packets of nuts all through the room. I tell you, we sold out. I don't think they're surprised out. about that. We sold out. <laughs> we sold out. They had the most affiliates join their company at that time. People will come up to me and say, I want you to market my product the way you market these nuts. Oh, Lord. So it was a lot of fun. <laughs> so I, all right. So the, the, the most immediate thing that, that pops out to, to me and all these, besides you know, your, all your experience, but you know, there's this idea of, of opposites attracting. And uh, I think the more important thing is, uh, you know, kind of the, the complementary aspects of personalities that that has come up in these conversations that we see so I, I think that's somewhat obvious already but how how would you describe kind of the complementary nature of your personalities and how they work together to to make the business run i would say that andy definitely pushes me to get out of my comfort zone um i've had to be put in situations that i never imagined i would be put in and that's just a small example because I did have to stand there while he was doing that, right? So um, it's, it's not my nature to want to be the center of attention. I want to say I'm an introvert because I think that that's two different things, but I am very shy and I really don't enjoy being the, the focus of anything there. I don't want to be the center of attention. So he has brought me out of my shell in that way, uh, boosted my confidence a little bit, I would say. And I think that I have kind of, not reeled him in in a way where it's hindering him, but I think I've kind of made him take a beat and think things through before making his decisions um, where business is concerned. And he's he's had to kind of like ease off the gas a little bit in order to be a little bit more organized and focused, I would say. I That's what I think. I don't know what he would say about it, but... I think that's a... I feel like we're on the newlywed game and, you know, we should have a card <laughs> and see who has a right answer. I, I think that's a pretty fair assessment. I've always lived by the motto, go baby, go home. And uh, you go forward and then you figure out later. You know, so, oh. so, so she, she definitely, oh. she definitely has interjected a little bit of balance there. 
and uh, um, I have had to apply the brakes at times to ideas and stuff, but uh, it, you know, it works fantastically because I am the one that I, I push, 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 dream, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go. And she's like, well, let's analyze all this. I'm like, oh no, well, wow. let's just go with it. Yeah, I definitely analyze everything, sometimes a lot. <laughs> Um, it, it kind of gives us like a little bit of um, like a protection in a way when you analyze the potential, the possible outcomes or, or what could happen if we do this. That's what I do. I, and I, I find it to be a strength and a flaw. Now, there's also probably a whole lot of people that are that are looking at this and saying, wow, but analyze this. We live together. We work together seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Not many people that are probably watching this have that experience. And those that do know exactly what we're talking about. Yes, we're, we're a married couple. We're a husband and wife, but we're business partners. We are friends. We laugh yeah. together. At times we cry together. At times we want to kill each other. You know, <laughs> it you know, there's very few people that I know around my circle, my world that do this and much less when, when, when we meet and talk to them, they're like, how do you do that? Yeah. That's impossible. I would go crazy if I had to work with my husband all day long. I hear that all the time. Um, you know, and well, how like, do you do it? Yeah. Like how, how do you, how do you make that work? Cause it's the same thing. Like we're together all the time, you know, it's like, how do you, how do you make it work so that at the end of the day, you don't hate each other. <laughs> Well, we uh, anybody who knows Andy, you know, Andy, everybody has this uh, perception of Andy, right? Boisterous, loud. I got to tell you, when we're in the office and it's just the two of us working here, we're in our own zones mm -hmm. and it's very quiet in here. And sometimes, you know, we'll have the music on or whatever, but it's not like we're talking all the time. That, that, that isn't what happens. And we both have our strengths and we both have certain things that we take care of within the business. So we do have separate tasks. Every now and then, of course, they overlap or they, or they meet, but we are immersed in what we're doing. Now, I am very big on there has to be an end time to the day. Mm. There has to be a time where we exit the office, turn off the light, close the door, and we go into the rest of the house and now we're home. And hey, we don't have to talk about how was your day, right? Because we know but I make it a point to try to talk about different things in our lives, you know, with our kids, with, you know, well, now the topic of conversation is our pregnant golden retriever, who's we found out yesterday is probably going to have about 10 puppies. So that is our new topic of conversation. So anyway, yeah, I try to make it a point and, and, you know, I usually will try to plan like, you know, let's go do this for the weekend and, and get away. And I, I think that's, more me. If it were up to him, he'd be working till eleven o'clock at night every day. And and that that is a challenge mm -hmm. that I have uh, in finding that balance, uh, because you know, old saying, you know, do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. Yeah, mm -hmm. I that definitely applies. So I I really love what I do. I I, I love the multiple sides of it. I love the interaction with people, uh, helping to solve people's problems when it comes to ha having them promoted and visible on, on the world of online marketing. But I also love, I, I also love the, the, the technology part of it, right? So when, when you, you're developing a site, when you're doing this, doing that, how do you use widgets and, 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 you know, so, so I really, really enjoy what I do. And she's right. If, he goes down a couple of rabbit holes, you know, she, she's absolutely, does. absolutely right. I, I, I could easily, I could easily be here on my computer at seven in the morning. Cause I, I am a riser an early riser and I am not, I hate she mornings, is not, she so. is not, but, but I'm an early riser and, and I, I can get on my keyboard. And as you guys, we have multiple screens. And multiple monitors, and I'm looking at email. I'm looking at social media. I'm doing HTML on the other side. So yeah, I I could absolutely be yeah, here. But you know what the thing is, like the way I look at it, there will be a day where the business is no more. Right, we're older, and and the business is going to be something that we've moved past already because of our age and wherever we are in our lives. Kids will be grown and married and having kids of their own. That's already started. So the way I look at it, it's like I still mm -hmm. want to have something to talk about. So 
if we don't nurture what we have and and if we don't build on our on our marriage and our relationship when that time comes i don't want to have it across the table yeah. You know, I want to have my friend. So what was it you saw the opportunity or like it was just kind of a package deal with the the marriage that, that you were going to be working together or were you still working title for a while and then kind of transitioned in? Um, I would say it was like a few months in. I wasn't entirely happy where I was. I had closed my office at that point and I was using my license somewhere else i was hanging my license somewhere else and i wasn't entirely happy with the way things were going and the uh lack of personal time off that i needed as a mom and he just approached me one day and he's like how would you feel about this and i thought about it and i was like you know what maybe it's time for a change i i was right. in my 30s i was like why not <laughs> so i went for it it wasn't a package of that though no yeah, it, it wasn't like a multi-year process of no. convincing. No. It, it, no, no. Listen, no, I, listen. And, <laughs> and, and again, there's an old saying, right? Everybody has a choice. You can build your own dreams or somebody will hire you to help them build theirs. Yeah, I never thought there was anything wrong with that. I don't think there's anything wrong with there isn't. that, there that isn't. person. And, there um, isn't. I don't know. I, I guess that it was, I was ready for a change and this just happened to happen around that time. And it was like, okay, well, you know, no, it wasn't a multi-year process, but our relationship kind of happened very fast, to be honest with you. Like very, very we'll talk about that. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Let, hold on. Let's move to a different question. <laughs> all, right, all, right, all, right. <laughs> all right. So you guys have this business together. Whereas like, I, you know, Will already had the business I came into. You guys created a business, a new business together. How, how did you decide, like, what, what's like the decision-making process? Like, how do y'all, like, important decisions. Like, how do you guys do that? Like, how do you guys decide, like, who has the final say? Or how do you guys come to agreements if it's mm, like a pivotal decision? But, like, you have different viewpoints. Like, how... What's that process look like? That's very easy. I push and push and push and push and push until she's like, okay, let's right. go. He tries to wear me down, right? Uh, salesman to the end. If he proposes an idea to me and I'm like, uh, no, I don't agree with that. I don't think that's the right thing. He'll try to convince me that it is. And he sells it to me, right? But I, for anybody that doesn't know me very well, I'm incredibly stubborn. And I am, when I say... When I, when I thought something through, I don't make any decisions for the moment. I, I really think about things and I analyze all different angles. Like I said earlier, I analyze things to death, but if once I've analyzed it, I, I feel strongly, no, then, you know, he respects that, you know, and as far we yeah. bounce a lot of ideas off each other, that's something yeah. that we do do. We we're constantly, mm -hmm. Hey, what do you think about this? Or what if we did this? How can we change this? Um, we do bounce a lot of ideas off each other and I'll tell him sometimes he's the techie one, right? So I'll tell him, Hey, is there any way that we could do this? And he'll research it to death and find a way to do it. And there is no final say every now and then, every now and then I'll say, no, I don't think that's a good idea. And I wake up the next day and lo and behold, there it is. And he did it anyway. And sometimes it works and I have to say, you know what, I'm glad you did it, it worked. And sometimes it doesn't. And I try very hard not to say, I told you so. And that's pretty much how that works. It is, it, it, it is a very unique uh, arrangement and a dynamic, very, a very yeah. unique dynamic relationship. I mean, we also have to take into consideration the world that we're in, right? Where technology moves at the speed of light and what you were doing a week ago, uh, has already been improved upon and what you were doing a week ago has been replaced by something that came out. Excellent example of that is everything that's happening in the world of AI, right? I mean, when, when AI came out in, in, in the, the last quarter of last year, everybody oh, this is a fad. We're not going to use this. I started to use it and she's like, no, you <laughs> yes, sound like a that's, robot. That's true. No, that's true. 
No, <laughs> you're going to stop thinking. No, it doesn't no. sound like you. It's going to dumb you down. It doesn't sound like you. It's right, like you have to right, make your brain work. Right. So, so I, I continue to use it and uh, I continue. I use it now. I, I use yeah, it. Yeah, she, she loves it. She loves yeah. it. And, and we still have so much to learn in that yeah. world, right? So our industry, and this is, again, one of the things that I love about what I do for a living, our industry changes so dynamically and so quickly in so many different areas that I spend a lot of my time just absorbing information and absorbing new processes, new technologies, and how to improve on what I was doing yesterday. And, and th th this is one of my responsibilities because she's more behind the scenes. And actually, like we said earlier, she's like the glue, keeps everything together. I'm always saying, hey, don't do it that way. But that's the way we were doing it before. Yeah, yeah, but that doesn't work anymore. <laughs> Let's do it this way, you know? So I, I still have a notebook and I still keep lists. That's who I am. Yeah. That's who yeah. I am. Yeah, it, it, it's not paper anymore. Now it's on a remarkable, but it's still there's still something about writing stuff out. I just even though we have it. we have an I remember online, it better. Board, but yeah. yeah, I remember it better. If I write it down, I'll remember. I guess that's how I. I I'm gonna write it down. I I use an app. Yeah. So I I I want to go back to to something because we we hear it a lot and in the conversations we've had with, with other folks, like everybody's had that experience that you know, you have people come up and like, Oh, I can't see how that, that could possibly work. Like when you look at that and, and you're obviously successful at doing it, like what do you think the difference is? Like why, why can't people make that work? Some people. Yeah. Working together, you mean, and, and, and yeah. being able to juggle all of it. I think a lot of it comes, honestly, from us both having had previous marriages. You know, we knew how marriages fail because we had both experienced that. Mm. And I think we brought a lot into our relationship where I know what not to do or not to say or how to handle certain conflict now differently than I did 20 years ago, 30 years ago, mm -hmm. right? And I think the same for him. And we we have we have boundaries of, you know, how we speak to each other. There there has to be respect every now and then we get into it, but there's a line we do not cross. And I think it's important to always say this is our business. Yes. And it's here today and it could be gone tomorrow. But our marriage has to be, you know, forever. Mm -hmm. And that's always the most important thing. Us, you know, being who we are, being parents, we're both people of faith and, and that's, that's our foundation. Yeah. I would have to agree with that a hundred percent. When, when we got into the relationships, uh, you know, a, a common word was, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, but I have, you know, she's like, I have two kids. Are you going to be able to handle that? I'm in. And it's like, well, you know, I'd like this. I don't like that. I'm in. And, the fact, I, I agree with that 100%, the fact that we came from uh, past relationships, I knew personally what it is I wanted going forward. I knew for sure what I did not want going forward. And, and, and I expressed that. I expressed that to her even before we, you know, we, we decided to make that, that, that commitment. And, and she did the same on her end, right? Uh, were there challenges? Of course. You know, yeah. of course, I mean, who, who doesn't have a challenge, right? In business and in personal relationships. But uh, what, what I found in her was very unique. And the fact that she understood and kind of agreed with my wants and didn't know once. And I did the same with her. I think it was, it was that bond, yeah. you know? The marriage and, always comes first. The, the business is just something that we happen to have together, but it doesn't define our marriage. Yeah. No. And, and that's something that we always, we always keep that in mind. We always put our marriage first, the business, you know, we can always pivot if we have to. And, and to, to, to further answer your, your question, Will, I, I think there's people that don't go down this road because of, uh, they're afraid, you know, they're afraid of, well, what happens if, what happens mm -hmm. if it doesn't work? And, you know, um, again, we, you know, we, we have a lot of friends and very, very few of our network and our friends do this. They live together and work together, 
You know, yeah, it's, we don't know a lot of couples. No, I mean, we, we, we know you guys, right? And, and, and we, we know that, that, that you guys do it. So I'm sure that you, uh, you understand the concepts there. But uh, you probably have a lot of people that are looking at this saying, hey, I could never do that. Yeah. You know, but yes. What would you tell somebody that, that maybe they were thinking about it or maybe there was, I guess, not even a younger couple, but just a, a couple where there was an opportunity, there was a, a business between one of them and... You know, they were trying to to get the other one to to come on board, and there was that that hesitancy. Um, what would you What would you say are like the prerequisites? Say the first and foremost, the, the most important thing they need to do is sit down and really talk about what they both want out of that endeavor. Right? Is it flexibility? Is it more time together? Is it you know that they complement each other's strengths and weaknesses? Right? We we do. We knew that. And, and that is one of the things that makes it work. Uh, if you have two very headstrong people trying to operate a business together, it's not going to work out. I don't think it's going to work out, right? You always have to have the communicator and, you know, the other person. There's always one that's better at the talking things out and thinking things through, and you always have the one that's more impulsive. You need, definitely need to sit down and make sure that you're both, that you both have the same goal. And you also have to have boundaries. Um, we're working together, yes. And while we're in the office, you know, we're business partners, but we are always husband and wife. We are always, that always has to come first. That your relationship cannot suffer because of your business. That's, that's just not the way that it's meant to be. That's not the way that it was designed. And, and I think it's important to have those boundaries. You know, if it's, we give yourselves a timeline. If by this date it's not working out or our marriage has suffered, we need to make a decision about the business, not about the marriage, about the business. Mm -hmm. That's I, 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 think. I also think that a person that has their own business, they kind of understand the flexibility. To me, flexibility was always uh, something huge. I've been self-employed since I was 23, 24. Mm -hmm. uh, so that flexibility afforded me an ability to do things that the average individual that works an eight to five cannot do. So I, I had that in, in, in very high value. So when you, you have a couple, you have a marriage and you have uh, an individual with that flexibility, it's not really a hundred percent, right? Because you want to travel, you have to depend on your partner, whether they can get the time off or not. So that flexibility is perceived flexibility, but it's not there. So for those people that have that, that, that independency already of being flexible already, bringing their significant other, their partner, their spouse on board with you, it's a big jump. Especially if your business is new and the income is not there, and if you have to depend on on the weekly paycheck yeah. of your partner, maybe the insurance benefits, yeah. you know. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of variables, right? And and if there's kids in the mix now, you know, those are a lot of things to 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 consider. And discipline too, because not everybody can handle being self-employed and working from home. Right. Not everybody can give themselves you know, that kind of responsibility without having to ask it to somebody else. And you have to know your partner well enough to know if they're cut out for that or not. I yeah. don't know. And, and, and you need to be, uh, you know, not just have the responsibility, but be accountable for yourself and your partner. Because sure, you, you know, on a Tuesday, Wednesday, you could say, nah, you know, I'm, I'm going to head to the beach today because I, I can do it. But, but can you really? <laughs> And how, you? and how many times? Should you do? Yeah, that? how many times can you do that during the month, and then you and not suffer for it? And then, then you want to have business. Not, not have the business. You want to have a business, right. so so it is unique. I I I will tell anybody will to go ahead and try it, analyze the pros and cons, and just yeah, go for it. Make a <laughs> make a list of the pro, of the pros and cons. <laughs> Um, I love it. Yeah. And he's like, just go for it. But I was just like, make a list of pros and cons. It, it just shows <laughs> your, both of your personalities perfectly. Thank you so much for being on with us. And this was so much fun. And I, I'm looking forward. I can't wait to see you guys in a few weeks. I know. Very exciting. Thank you for having us. And we are Thank really you. looking forward to Orlando. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you.